Hello and welcome to an EasyIO uh, video. In this video we will explain how to configure uh, your Gmail uh, with Google's new two-step verification method. Um, as you may be aware, uh, previously just having your password um, and your credentials and all the uh, settings uh, you need to, to make an email work, um, that doesn't work anymore because of the two-step verification of Gmail. Now, I will only showcase uh, on how to uh, set up your mail and show it works. Um, in this instance, I'll be using an FS controller, but the same method would apply for an FW. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, so first of all, I will just go on and quickly build up my uh, mail server. So you would need your DNS um, service. Uh, I, I always use the um, standard Google DNS, but if you have your own, uh, please change. And your SMTP service object. Now, I will, I will already have my um, little notepad here, why I just can copy paste the email that I will be using, which is my test email. And I will copy that in the account that I want to use, and also I want to show that it's coming from here. I will be using port 465 and the host name that is where you type in your SMTP details which would be smtp.gmail.com. I will also change the subject I will also change where I want to send it to, which I will be using my old email for. You can email whatever you want. I do not read it anymore, but it works. And I can just say hi, everyone. Now, secure connection, it has always been true. So we do that. And I will delete all the other recipients because I only need one. And this would be it. Now, this would be the part where you would have put the password in that would belong to the email. Now, that has changed. I can do that, but it will not work. It will simply give you an error. So let's say this was my password, which is actually not, but the error would typically be the same. And you, you see the host IP of the DNS, and then you'll get an error. 503. Now, what to do next? So you can go and clear your email queue for now. And we're going to go to Google. Now, I already have my two-step verification enabled. If this is off, please enable. Google will go and prompt you um, that it wants to send you a code to your phone or, or whatever you, uh, method you, you say you want to use and then go, go through that and then it will be enabled. Once enabled, you're going to click on App Passwords. So let's go and do that. And you want to select an app. Now, none of these apps is CPT, so we're just going to go and say Others. So we're going to go and type in CPT and click Generate. Now we'll generate a password. I'll go on and put this here just to be sure. And that is it, done. Now we're gonna go back and we're going to use this password as our password. We're going to hit save. And we're going to do a test email. We saw a change, so it's, so it's open. State is open, went to closed, email queue is empty, email sent is one. And I actually get an alert that, um, so just, just to make sure you guys, you guys do understand this. If it doesn't work for you, you most likely uh, have an email like this and you would have to um, say this was you, right? I already done this for, um, to, to create this video so I didn't have to go through it. 
But let's go to the email and here it is, showcase, hi everyone, hi everyone. And the email has now been set up. Hopefully this will uh, help you um, solve your issues if your Gmail does not work. Please follow these steps and uh, you should be golden. Um, all right, see you on the next video.